Hi everybody, this is my old Microsoft Surface tablet. The screen comes off by pushing a button right here and it lifts off so you can use the screen by itself. But anyway, the problem I've had with it for a while is the um, touch screen's been acting up. All kinds of white dots everywhere on the screen. It was activating icons and you name it. So I had to figure out a way to disable it. So I'm going to show you how to disable it and then re-enable it. Um, you go into um, Device Manager and scroll down to... Where is it? Precise touch control right there. Wait, now where is it at? Precise. Intel R Precise Touch Device. Touch that. Now I have the driver disabled because my touch screen doesn't work right now. So I'm going to activate it first. Driver. Enable device. Okay, I'm going to hit enable. And now my touch screen will be active and I'll show you how what I mean in a second. Okay, now I'm going to touch this. Okay, and now you can see the touch screen as I touch on it. It actually works. So I'm going to hit Microsoft Explorer. It opens up. And if I hit any other button up here, it'll work. I don't want to hit any buttons. But anyway, uh, my focus is off because I had to go to manual focus. This is the Yahoo browser or Microsoft browser. So I'll get, I still, the problem with the screen, I also can't work the top. The whole top of the screen is not functioning correctly. I can't kill off the machine. I tried calibrating the touch screen, you name it, nothing works. So I have to use a mouse. Anything above a certain level, and I'll see if I can show you what I mean here. Um, I'll try and draw a box with my finger. It starts below the top. So the top part of my screen is not functioning. And that's one of the problems I had. Also, it starts getting white dots like that all over the place. And see the white dots on the screen? The touch button there, when I touch it, will be all over the screen. So I'm going to wait a few minutes as it warms up to see if I can get that on. Okay, I can't seem to duplicate the problem now because it's probably cold. It's been on for a few days. But what happens is the screen, see those white dots? The screen gets all full of these white dots where your fingers touch and it makes the screen basically useless. So what I've managed to figure out how to do is go into Device Manager down here, like I was showing you how to activate it. And you have to remember this here. I'm going to turn up my focus is on manual so I can get a good close-up. Go down to Human Interface Devices. Intel Precise Touch Control, way down here and disable that driver yes it will stop this function good and then when you do that you don't have a touch screen anymore as you'll see nothing here and nothing works but when you go in just you could actually use a laptop because i couldn't even use it you can actually plug a mouse in here and use a mouse as well but using the touch screen was basically useless because it was just a mess so go back in the human face devices scroll down to touch Precise touch control right there, and double click it, whatever. There, and now that you see the driver is disabled, I gotta enable that driver, and now it's going to start working again. Now my touch screen actually works. Sometimes it takes a little while to find the driver. There, see it's starting to come up now. Now I should be able to hit the Microsoft Edge, and it works. So if your touch screen is um, acting up on your Surface Tablet Pro, laptop, whatever, go in and disable the driver. At least you got a laptop even though the screen doesn't work. Mine was basically inoperative. I couldn't use it anymore and I gave up. So I finally, I thought there was something I could do to update the software, etc, etc. I tried a million times resetting it with these two buttons. That didn't work and finally I looked in line and someone said disable the driver for the HD Precise Control. I mean the Intel Precise Control. And I did and it worked. So good luck with yours. I hope you um, leave a comment. This is about seven or eight years old. This, it still works great, except for the touchscreen. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.